Alright, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. And this week we've got Project Mongoose behind us. We're going to be working on the brakes today, getting the V brakes all set up, new cables installed, and getting this bike ready to go. But before we get into today's video, if you are new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you already are subscribed, make sure that little bell icon next to that is checked. That way you get notified every time I upload. That way you're not missing any of these cool tutorials, reviews, bike quick talk, and of course rides we do on this channel. So, into the Project Mongoose here. If you missed my last live update video, I recommend going and check it out. I'll post a link up here. I made a cool announcement about Project Mongoose. So, if you didn't hear that announcement, check out my live video. There really doesn't have very many views, so I know a lot of you didn't hear it, but it's pretty cool. Check that out. But today, we're going to be working on the brakes on this bike, getting the V-brakes all set, and of course, installing brand new cables on this bike because the cables on there are shot. So, what do we need to do with cables on this bike? Well, if you're just doing cables, if you're just taking your brake off or adjusting it, I will let you skip to the end because that's where I'm going to be adjusting it. If you're looking to do everything from installing the brakes and, of course, changing out the cables, you're going to watch this video. So what are you going to need? Well, you're going to need new cables, of course. So these ones here, this is a Bell set of cables. Super cheap, nine bucks at Walmart. I think they have a new one. It's called like the Bike Shop brand or something. I don't know what the freak it's called. Same thing. It looks exactly like this tip right here. It says the Bike Shop. It's the Bell. So you need a set of cables, of course. And you're going to need a couple tools. I think you're going to need some cable cutters. I need something to get inside the cable or inside the housing with. So pick like a pick. You can use the end of your cable cutters if you want. It works better with like a pick or something along those lines. And then you're going to need a crimping tool. So something like a pair of, uh, I believe it's like needleless pliers is what I use. So pretty much that's all you're going to need there. And then of course your Allen keys in order to tighten everything up. And then I need a wrench on my case to tighten the cable up into the actual brake. It's a pretty simple process to do this. So as you can tell on Project Mongoose here, I still have all the old cables still attached to the bars. If you have the opportunity to keep your old cables and your old housing, keep them. The housing makes a world difference, makes it way easier. You just copy whatever they did from the factory. It's awesome, it makes it super easy. If you don't have the housing still, well, it makes it a little more tricky, but lets you customize it and make your cables and your housing as long as you want. So we're gonna go ahead and break open this box here, take a look at what we've got in here, and uh, we'll get you right up to the bike and we'll get working on it. So in your box and your packaging for your brakes, if you got the ones that from Walmart, just like I do, or even if you buy them from your bike shop, pretty easy to tell the difference between a brake and a shifter cable. So brake cable, generally gonna be a little bit larger of a housing to it. And then if you buy a kit like this, one's gonna be really small. And that's just for your front because it doesn't have to go very far. It goes from the bars to the front brake. So you got a really small one, and then you just kind of match it up. And generally, it's the, one of the bigger ones for the back, just because that's go all the way from here and it goes all the way back to there. So that's gonna be your difference. Easy way to tell. And then on the on the brake cables here, you actually notice there's two different ends. So you have one that looks just like this up here, like that, kind of like a barrel. And you have one right here that kind of looks like a mushroom. Good way to put it. So you got a barrel and a mushroom here. You, if you have mountain bike brakes, kind of like this, where there are levers on the handlebars like this, you're gonna be using the mountain bike side. If you have a road bike with like brifter style shifters, you're gonna go ahead and use this side here. Just different setups, they do exactly the same thing, just with different style brake levers. So make sure you just match it up to whatever comes off of your bike. If you don't have anything, and you have, if you didn't have any cables in the first place, you're probably gonna have this if you have a mountain bike style levers just like this. So easy wear, easy wear there. You got your front and rear cables, and then you're also gonna have this little pouch here, and that's gonna have a bunch of little metal and plastic things in here. Pretty much what's in here, these are gonna be your little pieces that go on the end of your housing when you cut it. That way you can go in between all the stops on your frame. The metal ones are gonna be for your brake cables. The black plastic ones are gonna be for your shifter cables. And then other little things in here, these are just little cable ends that we can crimp the end of the cable once you have it all tightened up. And that way it doesn't unravel, you know, anything like that, and it looks really good. So let's get over to the bike, we'll work on the front brake first, because that one's nice and easy, and nice and easy for you guys to see. I'll show you how to take the old cable out, measure your new one, cut it, get you all set. So I got you guys up at the bars here. So there's a couple things off your old setup you're gonna wanna save. So at the end, generally there's this rubber boot here. That's what's gonna go in between your, um, in between your V brake down here at the wheel. So you're gonna wanna save that because it doesn't come in the kit. And then there's also this little noodle looking thing. You're gonna wanna save that too. It does have like a clear kind of tube inside. You kind of see it there. So make sure you get everything because you need everything. So we're gonna go take that off and make sure you watch the end of the cable so it doesn't jab you. All right, so just like so, so save that. And then pretty much from there, this is your housing here. The old housing can just rip that off. And I flipped the bar, flipped the brake lever up. That way you can actually see kind of what's going on at the bottom. 
So here you can kind of see there's a little bit of a, there's a big hole right here and there's a slot and you can see it kind of, it's a little barrel adjuster here. If you line it upright, see like so, oh, almost, there we go. Like so, you can actually see that that slot continues all the way through. It's a pretty easy way to change it. Line those up and you're just gonna line your cable up there and pop, out goes the old cable, nice and easy. So, go ahead and yank that out there and we'll grab our new cable. There we go. So I got our new cable here and I spooled up. I'm gonna go ahead and undo this here. One thing that is nice about this is it does, these cables do come with a optional little piece here. So if you don't have the barrel adjuster anymore, you can use that piece of there. I'm gonna use the barrel adjuster because I have it and the barrel adjuster is nicer because it lets you just tension up if you need, just a little bit if you need to. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. All right, so like I said, so we're gonna go ahead and cut off this wrong side here. This is for the, uh, for like a road bike. Just gotta kind of close, there we go. I don't know where that went, but we cut that off there. So that is, that is done. And then this other side, like we were talking about, we can, so we're gonna take this out because I'm not gonna use this little cap barrel adjuster, non-barrel adjuster, kind of just cap that would go in place of here because I already have one. So we're just gonna get rid of that. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab our old piece of housing here. And pretty much we're gonna grab these two, we're gonna line them up end to end. And we're gonna pull them out. And you can see that the new housing is quite a bit longer. So pretty much as that is, we're gonna go ahead here. And if I remember right when I got it, this is actually a pretty good length on it. So we're gonna get right where that is. So we're just gonna cut right through that there. Just like that, that one actually didn't come out too bad. So as you can kind of see inside of here, it's kind of bent over a little bit in there. So it's not perfectly straight. Put your cable in there, it's gonna rub, not be super smooth. Not gonna be really give you any benefit to your brakes. A lot of times it's gonna, hung, a lot of times it's gonna get hung up on there. So not gonna be as smooth. So from there, like I said, you can either, like I said, you can either use the end of your wire cutters, use this old spoke. I got a pick here. And you're just gonna go in there and you're just going to kind of bend the end out, kind of deburr it a little bit. Just kind of bend it out. That way when your cable goes in, it is nice and smooth through there. That actually looks really good. All right. So just like so, that way it's nice and smooth and circular. So that's all set. And then pretty much we're gonna go ahead here. One end already has it on there, so that's all good. I'm gonna go ahead, open this up here. And we're gonna grab one of our metal ends in here. And the metal end is just gonna go right over, just like so. You get that end on, stay so out both ends on your cable housing here. And we'll get our new cable, which I threw over here somewhere, there it is. Get our new cable. And pretty much to install this, same exact way. Got your slots, line your slots back up. They moved, there you go. And pretty much this piece right here, the barrel, the barrel portion, gonna go right inside your lever. And you'll see there's a little slot there too. Just gonna pop that right in. There we go. Just like so. And pretty much from there, if you're installing brand new cables here, tighten that sucker all the way up. You don't need any adjustment here. So you're gonna be setting this all up perfectly. And then my preference is use the end that you just pushed on up at the brake lever. Because that's the lever, that's the side that you pushed on. The other side is like fused with the housing. So you don't have to worry about that side popping off, whereas this side could potentially just kind of pop off and cause issues. So I'll put that right in there into the lever. That's all set. All right. So new cable is installed there into the lever. Now I'll get you guys down at the front wheel. We'll get the new, we'll get the V-brake back installed there. Get it all tightened up. Get it all working good. So down at the fork here. Pretty simple. When we took apart Project Mongoose here, we took the V-brakes all the way off. That way we can make sure everything was nice and painted. So we're marching our new V-brakes or our same old V-brakes right here. Pretty much what we're gonna do, these just slide over here. There's a post on each side, same thing on the rear. All right, so these slide over and you'll see there's a little pin on there. You can see it, there's a little pin sticking up on the V-brake right there. That little pin, there's three holes here. That's gonna adjust your tension, help adjust your tension on your V-brakes. So pretty much with me, the top hole is the one that's gonna give you the most tension, obviously. So what I like to do is at least put it in the middle get the metal, there we go. So I like to put it in the middle to start with, that middle hole. That way you have some adjustment both ways. If it's too tight, too loose, you're gonna be fine. Then the other side, same deal. Get this over here, 
Make sure it's kind of lined up in the middle hole. There we go. All right, so just like so, got those on. And then pretty much there's a bolt for each of them. You just thread the bolt in. And most of them are like a five millimeter Allen key. So we got those bolts on there. As you can tell, those springs in there are working great because it's pushing it back away, which is what you want it to do. Then your next step after that, pretty much gonna get your pieces that you took off your old one. So your little rubber piece and your little noodle. Find your new cable, which is this one. And we're just gonna go ahead and slide that down through. Put your noodle on first, slide it down through, put that cable end in, and then your little rubber piece here, your little rubber accordion thing. You don't have to use this if you don't want. I help, you know, if you have them, use them. There's no reason really not to. It just protects the cable on that one spot, gives it a little extra tension and protection. So might as well throw it on. So you go ahead and do that right there, put that on, and then pretty much down at your V-brake, you can see this little, I don't know what you'd call it, little flap here. That has a slot in it, so you're gonna go ahead and push your noodle through that slot, push your rubber piece right up against that, and then on this side, you're gonna have your way to secure your cable. So there's a hole in this little bolt here, and pretty much you're gonna, you're gonna put that cable right through the center there, just like so. And I'm gonna teach you guys a little trick here. So if you tighten this thing all the way up as tight as you can go, so it's against the wheel, this thing is horribly adjusted. <laughs> so let's see. So you tighten this up as much as you can against the wheel, just like so. And I have a ratchet in my case. You can use a wrench or um, some of them most have Allen keys on them. So just go ahead and get that tight in there. That's gonna be tightening the cable up. So you got your brake nut attached here. And your little tip, so make sure it's as tight as it could possibly go when you tighten that, that up there, tighten your cable in there. And then pretty much what you're gonna do, you're gonna go up to your brake lever and your brake lever should be pretty much rock hard. There's no way you're gonna pull it. <laughs> and what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your brake lever and you're just gonna pull it as hard as you can towards the bars and let go. And do it a couple times. Oops. Do it just a couple times here. And that should, essentially your cables are gonna stretch is what's the deal here. So pretty much by putting as tight as you can and squeezing that, that's actually pretty dang solid right there. Not gonna lie. <laughs> pretty much by putting as tight as you can up here, up, down here, tighten that cable up as tight as you can. Then yanking that lever, even though it's as solid as it can be, that should get rid of most of the, uh, most of the stretching in that cable, most of it. Still gonna stretch a little bit. That should get rid of most of the stretching in that cable. Last step you gotta do, got a needle those pliers. Cable cutters here, and we just gotta trim off this excess that's hanging on. So what I like to do is kind of hold this up to the side. I like to go down to about right there, right about to where this, uh, this brake pad is, right about where that, uh, where the Allen key is. I like to go about that long. So snip it off right there. There we go. And we'll get our little cable end here. Pretty simple. Make sure it's twisted at the end still. Throw our little cable end on, there we go. Get our needleless pliers, and we'll just tighten this down. We'll just crimp this, just like so. There we go. Nice and on there, nice and adjusted. So there we have it. Nice working front brake. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rear brake here really quick and get the brakes all set for this bike. So there is our install of brand new brake cables, a brand new brake housing, and of course installing the V brakes onto the frame. Both brakes work good. We're getting near the end for Project Mongoose. Next video, I'll probably be doing the same thing just for the shifters. These are, this does have grip shifters on there, so if you have grip shifters and need to know how to install brake, how to install new shifter cables, next video is probably your video to watch. So make sure to watch that video. It's probably gonna do it next time installing, installing new shifter cables, housing, going to those grip shifters, putting a new cable in there, of course, it's gonna be interesting. And then installing our derailers here. After that point, essentially it's gonna be fine tuning the derailers, getting those getting shifting nice and solid on this bike, which, and then of course installing a chain because there's no chain right now, but getting that set. And then we need new brake pads on there. Found out the rears are shot, so they're done. So installing new brake pads on there, getting that set and we're pretty much fine tuning the brakes in. So only a few more, a few more videos for Project Mongoose and of course a seat too, because I'm not sitting on a seat post. So of course seat, but we're, we're getting there to end of Project Mongoose. Again, if you didn't see my live video, I made a cool announcement about Project Mongoose. Make sure you go take a look right up in the corner. 
awesome video. Hope to see you guys in the next video. If you did like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. Any comments or questions, let me know down in the comment section below. Love chatting with you. Love answering any questions you guys have. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching today.